allow us to do so much for nutrition, uh, for healthy foods. We're going to use this room for job training for our clients. It'll be a great volunteer opportunity. Uh, we've been talking about it for a long time and we went through our process to get our state license. And this is really the beginning of something special for House of Hope. And it's a transformational opportunity for us. And it's very fitting that it gets named after Betty because she has been transformational for House of Hope for many, many years. Everybody knows community-wide about Betty's generosity and a lot of other organizations that she loves and helps are here today to, to recognize and honor you, Betty. But um, beyond the financial support, you know, Betty's uh, career uh, early on was as a social worker, so she really understands what we do and who we help and little things like crackers for our clients and clothing for our thrift stores. I mean, she understands our mission. It's, a, it's for us, it's a privilege and an honor to have Betty as a donor and a supporter. And this is just a small way for us to be able to, to recognize that. And long after we're all gone, this will still be here and people will still be talking about how Betty helped move our organization from something really small in the house, giving away sandwiches, to something that is changing lives for people in our community. And we couldn't have gotten here without Betty. <laughs> So today, uh, we have a group of volunteers that are actually packing down some food. So one of the things that we will be able to do with this room is buy things in bulk, like um, sugar, coffee, salt, things like that that are not often in food pantries, and pack them down into small quantities for our clients. So it's something that we can do that will be very cost efficient, save us money, and again, give our clients more things that they don't always get access to. So. Just another way that this room will help us and help those that we serve. So we want to want to run the ribbon across there. We'll have Betty cut that thing. Out. And um, Rob, when you come to see it, you're gonna have to Oh, okay. We'll go. They are already working in there. So we have to cut the window. There's actually windows outside, so we can show you like you can peek in. And don't feed the volunteers. And again, if anybody wants to take a walk down after this to see the Golden Gate building, I'd be happy to do that.